Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and we're going to be creating a small part with uh, constraint based drawing tools. And I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Design Spark, new, new design. And if you have um, Design Spark mechanical version 5.0 and you don't have your sketch tools, which are right here, your constraints. Uh, you want to go to activate those, you want to go to File, go to Design Spark Options, go to Navigate down to Advanced, and then it's this first checkbox that says Enable Constraint Based Sketching, and then you'll click OK, and then you'll have to restart. So I'm going to show you the importance of actually drawing with this. Uh, it's pretty handy. Um, we're going to go ahead and draw a part, but we're going to draw it like we're drawing something quickly. This way, um, I'm going to purposely make things skewed so they're not they're not straight. Okay, so anyhow, if you if you were um, if you were drawing something like this without the constraint based tools on, um, in order to re redo these, you would have to actually uh, delete them. You'd have to redraw and trim. You don't really have to do that with a constraint-based drawing tools. Uh, if it's a vertical line that you want to constrain to, to make it straight, you want to click your vertical constraint, and then you'll just go ahead and click all the uh, lines that are vertical that you want them to be straight. And if it's a horizontal constraint, you want to go ahead and click all your lines for horizontal, and then they're done. And the nice part about that is that if this is your, if your sketch looks like this, but it has dimensions on it, and you still need to go farther with this drawing, then you can with these with the dimension tool. Um, you go ahead and um, click on it, and then uh, as long as you highlight it, you can specify exactly what you want your dimensions to be. So if you're following along, maybe you have your um, drawing you, you got two monitors on uh, the monitor on the right you have your drawing with dimensions then your monitor on the left you have your design spark mechanical program and you're actually follow you're drawing the part here then you could just look over to your other monitor go ahead and um, make sure all these are the size that they need to be uh, maybe we'll make this one an even 12 make sure that these are all even numbers. Okay, so these are all good. Um, so once you're done adding your dimensions in here and your part is exactly like you want it to be from the drawing, you just go ahead and say end end uh, sketching. Now you're gonna now you have a part right here that you need to uh, extrude, do whatever you want to do with it. We can go ahead and pull this out some. I find this I find this constraint based drawing tool is pretty interesting the more that I the more that I dive into them um, actually sorry about that it was actually here these constraints uh, they actually do quite quite a lot of stuff uh, we go over here I'll show you let's go to the top view so we just created this part and we sketched it really quickly and then we basically did the vertical constraints, we did horizontal constraints, and then we actually typed in, changed all our dimensions to match the drawing. And then now, um, you know, you could do stuff like if you had a rectangle here. If you had a rectangle here and maybe you had, uh, they don't even have to line up, just, let's just make them the same size. You could say 12 over here and then you have one 12 here. If you want these to be in the center here of this part, because you want to make a part, you, you want to use this um, midpoint constraint. So then you just have to click the midpoint of there to the midpoint of here, and do the same on the bottom one. Now you can go ahead and get your trim away. Now you have this piece. So now we can go ahead and go to uh, design, go to the uh, 3D mode, spin that, and then pull. 
just makes drawing so much easier, especially if you want to just do the you want to just sketch the part quickly, just like SolidWorks. You can do this in SolidWorks. If you want to uh, sketch the part quickly and then you want to uh, define things based on your constraints, you can do that. If you want to make sure your uh, part is a, is a certain dimension, you can go ahead and after the fact, after you uh, define all your constraints, make sure everything is uh, straight uh, and the way that it's supposed to be, then you can go ahead and add in your um, your dimensions. So um, let's go to top, go to minus, let's go back to our sketch. And then it also does stuff with uh, with your, it will also do um, tangent constraints, which I use quite a bit. So I, if I wanted to say draw a line up here, Let's just say that it's crooked, maybe like this, and I want to make it. I want to make sure it's not crooked. I can come over here to this tangent constraint, click the line, click this, it'll move it up. Then I click this line there. So now this uh, line is perfectly constrained. It doesn't even have to really be drawn perfect. It could be kind of wonky. And then um, you can go after the fact, click there, click there, here and here. Oops. Oh, that was weird. Looks like it's now it's overdefined. It's telling me that it's overdefined, even though I want to put another one down here. Let's try this. Go there. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, and then now here's our uh, part. We can go ahead and do the trim away now with this. Now we have a part that's uh, then we can go ahead and uh, select all of these and do an offset. Let's just go uh, four. Then we can go ahead and go to the design. Let's go to 3D mode. Let's get rid of that in the middle. And then we'll go ahead and spin this. We'll pull these. Just makes it a lot easier to do, to do drawing stuff, especially if you have a part that you're sketching and it has a lot of vertical and it has a horizontal parallel constraints things that you need to move, like we did this, circle over here, moved it right to the middle. Um, that's handy to have, makes drawing a lot easier, makes drawing quicker and easier. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoy watching this. I, I did an earlier um, tutorial, but I only briefly uh, touched on, the, uh, on using the um, constraint-based drawing tools. This is a little bit more detailed, shows you actually how to create parts and then how to come in here and do the uh, add dimensions. We created this part from a square and we actually used the midpoint constraint to put to move to uh, circles here and then we trimmed them out. And this one, we used the tangent constraint to make sure that these were tangent. And then now we have uh, parts like this. Okay, uh, hopefully you enjoy watching and you got some useful tips out of this video. Thanks again for watching.